திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் ஒன்றாய் அரும்பி பலவாய் விரிந்து இவ்வுலகெங்குமாய் நின்றாய் அனைத்தையும் நீங்கி நிற்பாய் என் நெஞ்சினுள்ளே இருந்து பொன்றாது நின்று புரிகின்றவா இப்பொருள் அறிவார் அன்று ஆளிலே துயின்ற பொம்மானும் என் ஐயனுமே ஸோ லேடிஸ் அண்ட் ஜென்டுமன் டைம் இஸ் த கிரேட்டஸ்ட் இன்ஃப்ளூயன்ஸ் ஆஃப் நேச்சர் ஆன் த ஹியூமன் பீயிங்ஸ் ஸோ டைம் பிரிங் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி ஸோ அக்கார்டிங் டு த பெஸ்ட் ஆஃப் நாலேஜ் ஆஃப் த சயின்ஸ் த கரண்ட் இயர் யூர் லேடி விரி ஆக்சுவலி a man contributed the famous famous einstein albert einstein he proposed the theory no evidence no experimental verification a physics professor found one of the founders of the faculty of technology uh, he taught me this theory where the space and time is mixed not independent when the time is zero the space also zero so universe is expanding now we know there are evidences so the knowledge base is expanding is exponentially expanding that means the doubling of knowledge it take place in a half in a time so doubling the time taken for doubling the knowledge is halving it's like radi- radiation half light time you know understand so in this scenario in the modern world we got to work hard because knowledge is the only way to get your economy right to get your personal health right your personal comfort right and each and everything even your psychology right your peace of mind everything now is knowledge based is no more mechanical so ladies and gentlemen in this sense in the university of jaffna we began with the faculty of science then gradually we built upon the faculty of medicine came then the faculty of engineering we have been waiting for 30 years uh, today our president of the sri lanka institute of engineers teacher professor thurraja one of the most pioneering engineering education of this country dropped a proposal in the 70s no in the 70s to have a faculty here but unfortunately we were out of the mainstream due to the conflict even that conflict also we were famous never anybody witness that conflict of that intensity a small country had a conflict of that level the whole world was witnessing in the modern time so in that time we have been compromising the engineering faculty born in 2010 12 the founder approval we got at the time professor gandhasamy and myself and professor charles and uh, dr charles and professor ravi rajan were in the senate sub committee establishing the engineering faculty at that time we visited peridenia university and wanted to collect uh, their opinion on this founder work at the time the ranjit was in sabatical but his colleagues supported that especially uh, professor veerakon so all this uh, addition then we start engineering faculty then we moved on not we moved on the country you know the maginda sindhana they want to have this uh, technological studies build up in the entire country you know maginda labs came at the time the state minister moganlal morangal dero the actually proposed this uh, technological education then all of a sudden started in uh, schools but the universities are not prepared then then the standing of the, the science uh, 
uh, chairman, Professor Mohandas is here. Now he's a chancellor of Bavonia University. Then he was chairing the committee how to start about this. Because technology education become top to bottom, not from the university to ministry. It's the other way around. And no, no one had any clue. And how do we formulate this? And after Mohandas uh, left, then actually Professor Gandhasami, myself, and Professor Sivachandran were representing the University of Jaffna. And we were very serious. <coughs> we were very serious, not like any other people, just have this uh, for just sake of pleasing the ministers or pleasing the bosses. You know, Jaffna culture, it has been not there, because Jaffna always in the opposition party. When J.R. Javadana was conducting election, Jaffna people voted for Kopekadwa. Then the Rajabaksa was election, election Jaffna people voted for Ponzega. So we were in the opposition party, not pleasing the bosses. So this has been the history anyway in the Jaffna culture. So we were very serious. At some stage, some competent engineers came as a rescue. Professor Malik Ranasinga came. When Professor Mohanadas left and Professor Dr. Piersri, former Vice Chancellor of the Vocational University, came, and then we were able to put up a curriculum, and then we start moving, uh, formulating. Then this baby born in 2016, uh, December, at the pioneering staff, now the convener of the conference, Dr. Kaudaman, as an engineer, he joined at that time with uh, humble hope because we didn't have any even a shed to start the thing. That's what I say. When the universe originated, no space. When the time zero. When I originated 62 years ago, I was in the womb like a one embryo. I didn't have a bungalows. I didn't have cars. I didn't have my body. I didn't have my head. I didn't have my arms. So how this expanded? The so nature has its own evolutionary arrangements, irrespective of what do you do. So that's the way I am composed. From nothing, only 60 years old history. Now the black gas are gone, the white gas are coming up. My body clock started 62 years ago. The universal clock started 4,500 uh, uh, million years ago, or four and a half billion years ago. It's evidence. It's because uh, these are physical scientists, we have a large vision. We want to think about the entire universe, not hot age, not tourism, not this, not that, not the details. So entire universe, four and a half billion years started, and our Earth also four and a half billion years old, where this Vanni, the place, this is the the green ball of the entire northern province. You see now, people are throwing seeds. We never had problem with the rice. We never had problem with the milk. No river, no tanks, no mountains. Known for hard work. Japna man dig well to draw water, to quench the thirst. Similarly, even the medical education in South Asia originated in Japna. South Asia. We celebrated 200 years of Michael Green's commemoration now. Where people came from America and opened the, even the JMA, Jaffna Medical Association, oldest in the country, 80 years old. Even University of Peridania is not that rich age. Our University of Jaffna is 47 years old. So we had a topmost arrangement to quench the thirst. Similarly, in the technology education also, we got in and grab the opportunity without facilities, believing in nature, believing how this uh, universe evolved, how we evolved. On that day, then the probationary lecturer, uh, who Kaudaman joined as an engineer, then we always asked him whether you will move him, move to engineering faculty when you get the chance. He said no. So that's a promise he gave, and then now he went to Japan and became the first doctorate to return from the technology. Now the technology faculty, our founder recruits are all over the world, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, and UK, and all over the world, getting their knowledge empowered. 
the water is everywhere in the earth near in the amyaula even my body 70% of the combustion is water where do you find the pure water everywhere is polluted in the rivers in the tanks in the body everywhere is polluted so if you want to find the water in a pure form you have to reach the clouds how did it happen from the ocean the sun ray fall evaporate remove the pollutants then is gradually move on now pouring in now the lightning happening so this how happen as a scientist we know the scientists discover the rules of the governing laws of everything even the maxwell james clark maxwell found the governing laws of the electromagnetism he put in the nut cell only four laws the there is no monopoles in the magnetic field or the electric field uh, laws ampere's laws fleming laws all laws he put in the nut cell only maxwell four laws out of that engineers got the idea and designed things today the fourth industrial revolution is happening our keynote uh, speaker is not only a senior professor he is a founder of more than five companies in this country is a good example for an entrepreneuring academic like a us us even the sas company is owned by a mathematician or statistician most of the computer today companies are owned by professors even the shiva shivanandan one of the migrant top scientists of the us obama award winner is a physicist he designed this uh, what do you call uh, night vision equipments for military his own company today he is sponsoring a million rupees for our community kitchen so this is the way the science works then the engineers come so we discover discovery come from nature even the joseph fourier fourier transform now everywhere every technological design the fourier transform working in the back end programming even this vc media instrument is working in the signal processing the joseph fourier said the topmost avenue the source for discovery is the nature by observing a nature newton found the right brothers found we found so then after finding a discovery we pass it on to engineer to design without this basic laws they can't work laws of thermodynamics laws of electromagnetism laws of gravitation now we have moved to quantum theory one of the latest theory now the biological quantum theory is originating because you can't separate biology and physical anymore because our most of the mechanical arrangements are saturated you cannot find any more aeroplane faster than this is saturated only the controlling techniques are coming in no more you can design a car better than what car we have only the hybrid injection fuel system is changing the engine saturated but if you go nature you know my heart pumping from since my birth till my death i don't know how this happening it's not mechanical arrangement there is no motor working but in the engineering in the dynamics in the mechanics if anything moving there should be at least a motor there otherwise how it moves but in our body everything circulating entire technology is embedded in our body that's what somebody said andathila kaanralam pindathila kaanralam entire universe is within us top memory system is within us is well guarded shield the microsoft uh, what do you call uh, their base in singapore protect all the data is shielded shielded no one can enter even the radiation they can pick up somebody put up a van there and they have a device to listen what is happening in this whether you allow the bluetooth or not they can get but now shielding happening because to protect the data our shield is the skull we shield uh, that is top memory system is there top shielding system is there top optical system is there top uh, breathing system is there air flow fluid dynamics everything is there reproduction system is there so you cannot separate biology and engineering anymore that's what now 
the bioengineering coming, genetic engineering coming. Even you cannot separate any dynamics from engineering. Financial engineering coming. You know, management people are here. So in this modern scenario, ladies and gentlemen, the existence of technology faculty is important because the first science faculty come with the discovery, the governing laws, the basic of the basic. So we don't need to worry about how this found, how Newton struggled all life to find the laws of gravity. Now no laws of gravity is operating. Similarly, quantum mechanics, we don't want to worry about the um, uh, Bohr and uh, Einstein and all these people, Feynman and all this. Now the quantum arrangement is there. Similarly, the biological system is there. Biological system is in a way weak because they are empirical most of the time. The laws are not really there. The origin of the universe, they have a theory, but it may collapse. So now the biological quantum mechanics is coming in. It's a very advanced. That's what the mathematician role is, is a big nowadays. Because nature operates with the mathematics. The technology also, the Sri Lankan setup, little bit weak on that. The mathematical foundation. That's what we hear. We have mathematics one, mathematics two, mathematics three, mathematics four. But our students are finding it difficult to cope with it. But if you take top technological institute in the world, MIT or California Technology or the RIMT, you know, the, uh, the Melbourne. So Australian Institute of uh, Technology or British uh, Manchester Institute of Technology. So all have very good physics and mathematics background because the governing laws come from there. The engineers design. We are boring people. We say it and go. Then the engineers struggle. I think they are the people design the devices. When the technologies come and customize, because they have, I know the electrical engineer will divide the electrical part of it. Then there are other part of it. The plastic, chemical engineering. There are so many designs. And you know, Walluvan and people are now leading the UBL. The 3D printers are coming. So there are so many other aspects. So we want to put the, this into the commercialization platform. That's only happening now in Sri Lankan universities, for which also University of Japan is very serious. Now we got three patent ship. I can actually, we want to thank Walluvan. We got two one from the engineering faculty. And now we have a commercialization from our agriculture faculty, fermiculture, uh, fertilizers, and also our bell uh, yogurt, and things are coming. So actually, today Sri Lanka is struggling because our intellectuals contribution only in the theoretical platform, not in the commercialized platform. Look at the country. I yesterday I checked what are the empirical example I take. Look at the Australia. It's born only in 1948. Jews migrated to that heartland to maintain at least one Jewish country in the world. Then today, I check, out of 100,000 people, 8,000 research scientists, engineers in Israel. You know the ratio, 8,000 for every 100,000. Even America, 6,000. Even Japan, 5,900. Korea, around 6,000. It's the largest in the world. A country only born in 1948. Today, they are famous for agriculture. They are famous for drone technology. They are famous for military hardware. And they are famous for all kind of product. From a desert. I think that uh, our community also somewhere compared to this Jewish community, where we had our sufferings, but we had to come up. So that's what I said, digging the well to draw the water to quench the thirst. Similarly, we built this faculty in 2016, provided the opportunity. It's a political agenda maybe, but we didn't look at that way. We were serious. Without having any single staff, we started with the construction technology, then the engineers were skeptical about it, including the <laughs> engineering council or Sri Lanka Institute of Engineers. How is this going to come and, you know, collaborate with the being, uh, being, uh, being adapted with these existing engineers? Construction technology, electro technology, automobile technology, we started it. 
Then similarly, biosystem technology, we move to green farm, organic uh, farming culture. Now people are talking about it. Organic, organic. So the country is in the crossroad. So what are the, for us to offer to this country? The economical development. So the commercialization coming. Our engineers need to be exported because we got to produce graduate with the global citizenship. So they can go abroad and work and bring the money like Indians. Today in America, I think around 55 or 60 percent of the doctors are Indians. They are migrating and going and getting the money and motherland is cherishing. They are bringing the technology also. How the first uh, Islamic atomic bomb came? Because a guy was working in uh, Holland, the scientists. They brought the technology back home. Similarly, that avenue has to be explo explo exploited. So today, we are not resting with this uh, made in conference. So conference, we talk. Hearing from the wise, we become wise. So actually, the knowledge process begins by hearing. Then knowing our textbook, proceedings. I think these people work very hard. Only with a little money. One month, as a vice chancellor, I know, all the deans knows, we disperse 300 million salary. But this conference got 300,000. Or 500,000. So we don't look at our accountability for what we are drawing from this public money. The salary alone. Don't worry about the recurrent. Don't worry about the contractual payment. Then total budget for university running University of Jaffna is around 5 billion. Around 85, 90,000 go for salary. People are resting, reading newspapers, internet serving. Even that is also coming from we learn. We are paying. That's what this cover, country is covering. It's nothing happening in the Korea, nothing happening in Israel, because they are accountable. They are accountable. So, ladies and gentlemen, conference inspire us. Today we have a co co keynote speaker who have the proven ability. For I think he might be 10 years younger than me. I, I passed out in 82, 83. He passed out in 91. He's a senior professor and also founder of many companies and also president of uh, Institute of Engineers. And he got awards for uh, distinguished award from Australia, UK states, but serving the country, not hiding. And those are served in as a secretary of Ministry of Innovation and Technology under ministers. Then he left. Because when the green come, put somebody. Then the blue come, they put somebody. They don't sustain people. This is a Sri Lanka sickness. You know, that guy was there as a secretary. Then the other man come, move. Because why? This country is now bleeding. One of the main reasons is not lethargic about complacency. One of the another reason is the bribery and corruption is from top to bottom. Maybe not like other worst countries, but this also this bad culture also creeping in. What is the sum and bottom of the knowledge? The knowledge begin by hearing, then knowing from reading, then practicing. Why you are practicing? You have to show your characters. The character formation is important. That's what we bring very good people. I think our, our, we are blessed in the Arabian earth. Most of the staff have a very good integrity and accountability and hard working. So this, this place will prosper despite of all the challenge we face. So the Made in Conference is a turbo start. For the science faculty, the Made in Conference, I remember it's only started after 25 years or so 30 years of existence. That's the way it's happening now, even the medical faculty. So now we had a made-in conference in the engineering faculty. Now I have made-in conference in the technology faculty. So you are the blessed one. The first conference for me to attend, I had to go to Zurich under the, under the sponsorship of International Mathematical Union as a young scientist from developing countries or something, just to witness a conference. So now it's a whole household affair. Top most devices are on your hand. Information highway is open. So you are no much dependent on knowledge gathering.
for big laboratories or libraries or anything. It's coming. Even the YouTube, hey, TED Talks and all the practicals are there. So teachers are blessed. Students are blessed. The knowledge cultivation is possible. Eventually, as a human being, what do we want end of the day as an individual? Okay, I can, I'm a social animal. I have a, I have a duty to contribute to the country. You have a duty to the country, to the country, family, society. End of the day, what do you want? That's why the Lord Buddha coming, Jesus coming, uh, Allah, Salih Salam coming, all are coming. Why do they coming? Oh, Chankaracharya coming. They said you are eternal peace, so happiness is important. You know, you don't want to die with crying. So you want to, you came with the body, we leave with the body. So while we are coming to the world, we were crying. Bah. Otherwise, Dr. Villa said this kid they had a problem. We were coming crying, but when we are going, we shouldn't be crying. So you get, we should get fulfilled. To be fulfilled, the knowledge is the way. People call it jnana. Jnana means Sanskrit is a knowledge. Some say in sing, anandamai and arivai. Narendra Amudamai. The knowledge is the only way to be happy. This temple and this uh, religions and all become obsolete. This is only a path. It's not the end, destiny. So service brings happiness. That is the karma yoga. Service brings happiness. So among the, all the dharma, our dharmic society, Sri Lanka, they claim, Jaya Jayavatana said, it's a dharmic society. The chakra is there. What is the best dharma? The vidya dharma. Teaching. The white man also says, instead of giving a fish, you uh, let them learn how to catch a fish. So today, our Sri Lanka uh, knowledge framework it says, uh, SLQF, Sri Lanka, qualification framework. So we had to think about the knowledge, we had to think about the skill, we had to think about the attitude, we had to think about the values, and so on and so forth. So this is very important. So you are the living temples of this country. Because I tell, I told you at the beginning, if you want to get the pure, pure water, you have to go to the clouds. Unpolluted, distilled, they call it. So the Higher Education Institute, HEI, is the Himalayas of this country. We have to show to other people, we are pure. We are the walking temples, walking priests, living, admirable human beings. But the problem is ragging now. Brrr. We know how to torture people. Now I am getting call from superintendent of police. My lady friend, son is two years old. Can you help me? So this scenario is taking place. Lot of challenges, ladies and gentlemen, because we are living in the Kali Yuga. I finished my talk with the Samudra Sastras thing. The Kali Yuga means the time is cyclic, but according to most of the calendars, it's unilateral. But according to our Sastra, time is cyclic. Go, world is moving, all the planets moving in a periodic system. Our blood is like cyclic, it's coming back. Everything is cyclic. Every, in the nature, everything is recycled. Nothing goes without periodic. So in the periodic culture, now we are in the Kali Yuga. The Kali Yuga, the Dharma is means supporting existence only 20 person. If you take four lawyers, only one is good. If you take four doctors, one is good. If four businessmen, that's what the nature is supported now. So it's a big challenge now. We are tempted because it's too much of, you know, the pollutive environment. Even the day before yesterday, two students were threatened by the knife by a lady at uh, night, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Drug addict. A lady with the swords came and threatened our boys and got the wallet taken away. Early morning, police says they only released a couple of days ago, that lady. Lady coming from abroad. So drug addiction. How this happening? Because we read in the culture, the churning the ocean. You know, the Devas also churning the ocean, milk ocean. The Asuras also churning the milk ocean. 
Even the drugs are coming from laboratories, not from laymen. Today, modern drug, they say examination pills. If you take that drug, you will do exam well. No, you can't escape. Everyone will uh, go for that drug. And you can uh, prepare your notes or preparation for the exam two days without sleeping. Examination drug, like Viagra, you know, this came only my time, 10 years ago. <laughs> 10 years or 15 years ago. Now more, it's a popular drug. You can order in online and get. Most of the people are with the black mustache, they can enjoy life because Viagra. So similarly, exam bills are coming. How, where is it coming? It's coming from laboratories, from scientists. So others also churning the ocean in another direction. So a big challenge to get the neutral. That's what we say, our Lord, Shiva, we sing a song. Alam Tanuganda Amudu Saidane. Because when the churn, some bad stuff come, he swallowed it. So we are the intellectual. The politician mess up. The governing people mess up. Some also the people mess up. Then we are the people to about to clean up. That is the university is all about, knowledge center. So ladies and gentlemen, I really want to thank our dean. So today three, three engineers are on this side, Jay Singha, Haranika, and Kaudaman, three engineers. Now middle there is an institute of engineers president. There is only one lady <laughs> in the biological system. I think since the beginning she has been the, uh, uh, endeavoring very hard to keep this faculty going. We had to appreciate that, irrespective of their personalities and this and that. And uh, with the help of other engineering, K. D. Sen, and is all uh, decorating, Sazi Baran, Ganeshwaran, and uh, all Tiruvaran, and Kalramanadan, engineer, uh, our Vasandaruba, agriculture staff. Actually, I want to pay my wholehearted uh, obeisance to you all for supporting this faculty going. It's not for us. I think our founder, uh, Kandasami sir, is witnessing today. Similarly, we started 2016 in a hut. In that speech, I said, Jesus born in a house shed. No one wanted to see him. Everyone wanted to kill him. Because he born, another thousands of kids were killed because they couldn't differentiate him. But that Jewish person changed the time into AD and BC. Similarly, second famous Jew, Einstein, he was sought after for Holocaust. Again, he escaped from Germany and he delivered the theories. Theories! And now we are cherishing how space exploration take place. So don't worry about the adverse circumstances. As long as you desire for it, deserving for it, it will happen. I am also retiring soon, but I have seen last 10, 8 years of history of this uh, uh, technology faculty. I witnessed our demos today. I, I don't recall the names. They were the first student. They were asking me, sir, what is our hope? We came here because of Mahinda Chindana. We said, okay, let us try our best and guess best out of these circumstances. This is called endeavoring. This is what the Valdover said. Teivatula Adeninim Muyachi Meiverinda Kuli there. So perseverance. So we become good at what we practice. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I really want to thank you all. And also I am very happy being part of this Made in Conference. And also I am relishing the memory, being part of this uh, inauguration. I think uh, uh, Kaudaman has all the videos. And Randika was here, came from Kendi, a young man from Open University, Randika, came and gave a hope for automobile engineering. He delivered it. Now he went to America. First batch came out of it. I want to thank especially Randika. Even Randika was asked by Sri Javatanapura and other universities, Sabranova, come and join there. But Randika said, no, I committed to Jaffna, I stay with the Jaffna.
His girlfriend was in America doing PhD in physics. No, this will happen. Otherwise, we wouldn't have gone for automobile technology. So somebody come from somewhere. That's the way this arrangement done. Environment is there. Now I can talk about this building and everything. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for excellent participation. The participation brings progress.